One of Nigeria's richest women, Mrs. Alakija, has filed for divorce, or rather has divorced from her husband of 30 years or 30 something, I'm not sure. That's what I will be gisting you today. Before I dive into that, I would like to welcome all my subscribers. Thank you for helping me grow my channel. And if you've been viewing without subscribing, please do want to subscribe. I bet you won't regret it because you will be learning a lot. Yes, join the family. Let's learn and have fun together. Now, let's go straight to it. It's like a shocker. Yeah, because I've watched many of her interviews. I want to describe her as a typical Nigerian woman, as a typical African woman with that family values and all of that so to hear that she is divorcing her husband or she's divorced from her husband is quite you know shocking and heartbreaking for most of us women especially who look up to her as a role model that's not to say that i'm judging her i know for marriages that have stayed for once is above like 15 years, I I wonder, as a child, I used to wonder, nothing will make marriages that have grown past 20 years, 30 years to break up. But now that I'm getting older, I'm seeing it happen and really is demystified where I am. Yeah, so it's kind of telling us that people or marriages can go wrong at any point in time at any age it doesn't ma ma matter how long you have stayed in marriage and i'm wondering what could make this kind of marriage to crash i don't know i can't think of anything because you cannot tell me there have not been problem in that marriage. Yes, for 30 something years, they have not been facing different crises or problems and they are getting by, you know, coming back, coming out stronger on the other side. And all of a sudden, this, I just can't place my hands on what could be the cause. And I must tell you, so far, they have, you know, managed to, you know, shroud everything in secrecy. Not like young people that will begin to wash their dirty linen already on social media, in the public, trying to criticize this person or badmouth this person. You see, that's mature people for you here. So there's nothing out. All we know is that they are divorced. No, no acrimony, no anger, no badmouthing yet. I, I don't know why I'm saying yet. I want to believe they won't do that. They are too, they are too mature to do that kind of a thing. But most times, I can only guess for such people that old to get a divorce at this old age must have been betrayal. I, I won't want to say cheating, not cheating, but betrayal. Or, you know, not any kind of betrayal. It must have been something very strong. Something, you know, when you hear it, you'll be like, okay, I understand. I don't know. That's my own thinking. Things like maybe, maybe the man might have a family somewhere else. Remember, it's just my thinking. I don't know. These people are not saying anything. It might be that she, he must have done something or she must have done something that is shocking, is betrayal and something very big at the same time. You might be shocked. It might be just something very little that maybe they'll just feel like at this age, I'm not going to take this or that, but it is up to them. We can only pray for them and wish them well. And I know in typical African tradition, mm -hmm, those people getting divorced at that kind of age, is it really a divorce? Mm -hmm. Is it really a divorce? Because most times they are always in communication with each other. Most times they still share a lot of things like properties and all of that together. You see, do you know sometimes when they have businesses together, they still run their businesses together? I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. It's only time that will tell us the kind of divorce they are having. And another thing that I've watched on many people's TikTok videos, and a lot of people have done videos about that, is the fact that the guy, the man, had to leave the house 
yes the man was the person that packed out of the house that had to pack out of the house showing that it could be that they have been living in the woman's house which brought up a whole different kind of opinions topics discussions about living in a woman's house or a woman being the breadwinner that's not to say that this man is not a rich man but when you as a woman have oil world aha uh -huh. yes we are not talking about it, it it can make anybody's wealth look very tiny or look small but that's not to say that i'm trivializing whatever the man is bringing to the table no the man is also a rich man but we cannot hide the fact that the wife might be richer than he is because of the nature of her own business yes now he brought up a lot of topics ah you see why it's not good to live in a, a woman's house he will send you away the reverse will be the case he will send you packing and all of that i want to tell my young people please don't be discouraged don't be discouraged that this marriage does not work out does not i don't think it has anything to do with the fact that he is living in the woman's house yes even if he's in your house a bad woman will still be a bad woman in your house so a good man will still be a good man whether he's living in the woman's house so, so he's not let's just remove our mind from there but a typical african man it might bruise his ego but i feel it's nothing it shouldn't even be a discussion what works for a might not work for b so with this terrible economic downturn we are having now please please it doesn't matter who brings what to the table what we want is what is working is this marriage working that is what we are looking at that is the much i will take on today's video but i will keep you posted if there's any new development so if you enjoyed this video please remember to give us a like at the same time share it as well don't forget to tell us your own comment down in the comment section. See you next time. Bye-bye.